Now, after uh, finding the pH of salt of uh, strong acid and strong mains, which is actually 7, we're going to talk about the second case uh, of hydrolysis of salt. So, hydrolysis of salt of strong acid and weak base. So, whenever we have a salt of made up of acid which is strong and base which is weak. So, we're going to talk about this skin. So, first of all, how a strong acid and uh, weak base. So, uh, in strong acid, let's say, take an example of HCl and weak base, let's take an example of NH4OH. Acid and base react to form salt. NH4Cl plus H2. Remember, both should be in the limiting reagent. No, nothing should be in excess. So, C and C was the concentration in dissociate in form C. Now, NH4Cl dissociates into NH4 plus plus Cl negative. So, uh, this is called actually, uh, now C was the concentration over here. Now, it will form C and C. So, uh, that is actually, Cl won't be hydrolysis, NH4 will be hydrolysis. So, it is cationic hydrolysis and pH, uh, if cationic hydrolysis, then it will form an acidic solution. So, pH must be less than 7. So, when the pH is less than 7, so actually in order to calculate the pH of a salt, specifically not talking about the strong one, strong acid and base one, we will see uh, three cases more when one uh, weak is strong, acid is strong, base is uh, weak, base is strong, acid is weak and both are weak. So in order to derive this three pH, we will be using actually four steps. First of all, we will be writing uh, the general hydrolysis reaction. The general hydrolysis reaction. So, what is the general hydrolysis reaction? NH4 plus plus H2O. It will form NH4OH plus H plus. Now, uh, this is the reaction that will be taking place when cation is being hydrolysis. So, here we have given the unit of KH, hydrolysis constant. We have seen, uh, seen that um, constant in that case particular name as KH. So, KH will be NH4OH, then H plus over the NH4 plus. We know that H plus H2 will not be included because constant uh, H2O has been multiplied and uh, given a new constant which is actually hydrolysis constant. So, H2O is in excess and does not participate in equilibrium. So, we will be not be writing in the equation the H2O. So, first of all, we will be writing the general hydrolysis reaction. Now, second, we will be writing the relation between KH, KW and KB. So, KW we know it is H plus into OH negative and KB will be, it will be NH4 plus into OH negative over NH4 OH. Let's say this is the equation number, uh, the KH1, the KH we have just calculated, let's say it is the equation number 1. The KH is equation number 1. This is the equation number 1. And KW is equation number 2. And KB, let's say, is equation number 3. So, if we divide 2 with 3, what we will get? KW upon KB equals to KH. And it will be, let's say, equation number Mm, 4. So, KH we will be writing in terms of KW and KB is KH equals to KW upon KB. Now, one trick here I am here to tell you that how do we write this equation? Actually, KH is always equals to KW 
over the constant we use for whatever we have on right hand side so we are actually a base on right hand side so it will dissociate the equilibrium constant given as kb that will work in uh, the more complicated cases or more challenging cases how do we uh, derive the equation you want me I'll always be thinking how do i derive so how do i write the equation in relation to kx kw kb so actually kx equals to kw upon on the right hand side you will be see what do you see you will add its dissociation constant so here its equilibrium constant is kb so we will be writing like this or you can simply go by traditional method now on the third case if we talk about the third case relation relation between kh relation between kh and h now what is h h is actually degree of hydrolysis and degree of l5 degree of dissociation the particular in the particular hydrolysis reaction we are writing it as a h so as um, so it is and it is defined as and it is defined as the number of moles the number of moles from one mole of part hydrolyzed means out of one mole how much it has been hydrolyzed so you can say it is defined as fraction of one mole of hydrolyzed you can write as a fraction of one mole of hydrolyzed how much fraction from the one mole has been hydrolyzed so nh4 plus plus h2 we will be writing nh4 oh plus h plus so it is will see when it was initially time now t equals to t is c into 1 minus h it is ch and it is ch so how you will be writing the kh how you will be writing the kh kh will be nh4 plus h plus divided by nh4 plus so kh will be um, that ch into ch over c into 1 minus h so kh will be ch square upon 1 minus h when we know uh, we will do a uh, similar treatment that we have done when alpha when h is less than 5 percent so we will be neglecting 1 minus h equals to 1 so kh will be a uh, ch square and h will be over the root of kh over uh, upon c now it was the third step now if we go on the fourth step what is the fourth step so fourth step is derivation of derivation of ph how do we derive the ph term so we know concentration of h plus is ch and c into h was kh over c so it is actually over the root of kh into c now we have seen kh was a uh, kw over k b so if we put the value concentration h plus equals to over the root of kw upon k b into c so ph eventually turns out to be negative log of h plus and negative log of under the root of kw upon kb into see i hope all of you know how to operate this logarithm so and that ph um, comes out to be 1 by 2 uh, pkw minus pkb minus log so how that's we derive the term of ph so it was included in the fourth step four step so if you get someone to derive remember that it has four step now we have a question uh, first i'll read the question then uh, you should pause and try to solve it by your own calculate ph of solution obtained by mixing now actually whenever we have a question regarding of Salt, uh, salt hydrolysis the good question will be the question where they won't be mentioned that it is a salt and you have to reuse the equation of salt hydrolysis it will give the reaction of acid and base and you have to predict whatever the salt will form 
and is it the question of salt hydrolysis so in this scenario we have studied whenever the salt is formed the enzyme that is the only salt we have we do not have any access of acid or base left so that will be the case of salt hydrolysis so let's see that that just this question met this criteria we have hcl and nh4oh so whenever we mix nh4oh with hcl it will form nh4cl and h2o so we have actually 200 ml of 0.1 molar nh4oh and that was amount of hcl so uh, actually the millimoles is uh, 20 millimoles of that 20 millimoles so it is uh, totally uh, and it, it forms 20 millimoles of nh4cl now how is the what is the concentration of nh4cl we know the millimole now we can calculate the concentration 20 divided it by how it is the total moles uh, we have 200 ml of both so it is 400 ml so it is actually 1 by 20 so concentration of nh4 plus comes out to me 1 by 20 now we we know then it is a cationic hydrolysis and we can use the directly form that that we have just derived so ph is ph is 1 by 2 14 minus 5 minus log of 1 over 20 so it is 10.3 by 2 it is 5.15 will be the ph of solution now the second part is asked in, now second part in the question is calculate kh and h of the salt we know kh was i have seen kw upon kb so kw upon kb what is the kw tends to power minus 14 and what is kb tends to power minus 5 so it tends to power minus 9 and h was over the root of kh over c so we know kh is tends to power minus 9 and c is And, and the concentration we got is one by twenty. So the concentration we got is one by twenty. So n comes out to be one point four into ten to the power minus four. Now we have to calculate the equilibrium con equilibrium constant. Between the reaction, so now equilibrium constant. Whenever we have an H third part is, whenever we have HCl plus NH4OH, it will form NH4Cl plus H2O. So K acid base, so K four acid base neutralizes one upon KH. So it is one upon KH is a ten to the power nine negative nine. So it will become ten to the power nine. Now let's give this equation and the, and the question previous question a little bit a uh, twist. When we have uh, calculated the change in pH when point five molar NaOH is added in the above solution. So we know we have added point five molar NaOH. So what actually we have in the previous solution NH4Cl when we are adding NaOH. Let's see what happens. It will form. NH4OH plus NaCl. So actually NH4OH also was uh, actually it is zero point zero five molar. So it is a zero point zero five molar uh, that we have calculated just that the concentration of NH4Cl was one by twenty, which is zero point zero, and it is also zero point zero five. It will manage. It will form zero point zero five molar of NH4Cl. So. Alpha. Let's see what is Kb by C. Now it is the question just for the pH for weak base. Now first of all calculate Kb by C. So Kb is for NH four OH is ten to the power minus five given in previous question and it is zero point zero five. So it is comes out to me two hundred into ten to the power minus four, which is greater than twenty five into ten to the power minus four. So what we will do? We will do Kb equals to C alpha square upon one minus alpha. So it is C alpha square of one minus alpha. Now we can uh, we know the C we will be calculating the alpha. Now C will be one by twenty or zero point zero five. K B is ten to the power minus five. So when we can we solve this quadratic equation because we can't neglect alpha with respect to one while solving the quadratic equation, the concentration of O H negative we will be getting is C alpha. And now we can calculate P O H and P H. 